Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to talk about putting up open source software solutions. Now, when you talk about putting up open source, you need a server to put it up on, and SiteGround is one we use quite a bit, and it has a super deal. Uh, for less than $6 a month, you get a 500 gigabytes of storage space, great support, on and unlimited emails, subdomains, and MySQL databases. And not only that, SiteGround makes putting up open source software easy. What I've done here is I've logged into my control panel on SiteGround. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the control panel, you can find an icon called Fantastico. And it is fantastic. And I'll show you why. OK, we're in the Fantastico panel. And on the left side, you can see the number of the open source solutions that they offer that you can install with just a click. And I'll go through a few of these. You have blogs, such as WordPress, that we use a lot. Uh, content management systems, like Drupal or Zoomal. You have custom relationship software, like OS Ticket. Uh, discussion boards, like PHP BB2, which we use also quite a bit. Uh, E-commerce, uh, FAQs, hosting and buildings, image galleries, mailing list, polls and surveys, uh, project management tools, site uh, builders wikis and other scripts. Now, you don't see MediaWiki here in the list, but SiteGround will also install that for you upon request. There are actually two ways to install these open source solutions in SiteGround. One is through this simple click system, or what's typically done on the web is you install a, a open source solution from the web, you transfer it over to your server and unzip it, and then you go through a PHP script install. Uh, what we're going to do is just install with a single click, and so we're going to install a discussion board today. And let's click on uh, PHP BB2, which one we use a lot. And you can see it pops up here in the Fantastico panel, and it shows you a little icon, a short description, and the home page so you can learn more. And all you have to do to install it is click New Installation. And it's going to ask me what domain I want to put it in, and we're just going to call this Dboard for Discussion Board. And I'm going to give it a uh, admin username. We'll just call it admin for now. You wouldn't want to do this on your regular board. You want to make it more secure, but for demonstration purposes. And we'll call this admin for our password. And that's good for this particular uh, installation. And I'm going to hit install. And there you have it. It's installed. So let's actually go to the web and see if it's there. So I'm going to type in www. Fluxhacks, which is the domain name I'm at right now, slash dboard. And let's click and see if it's there. And there you have it. I just put up a discussion board. Now, last year our group wrote about 30,000 lines of code, and so we really like writing our own software. But many times we have instructors come in and ask us for something that we don't have written yet. So it's great to have these open source solutions just to put up on the fly. Uh, let me show you one that was just put up recently, uh, a media wiki uh, for one of our instructors, Mary York. And she actually uses this with her students to uh, do group and peer editing. So there you have it, uh, easy as pie. You can put up an uh, open source solution in less than five minutes, and uh, that makes our instructors happy, and it makes us happy too. So try it out, try SiteGround, and try some of these solutions.